Hi, I'm Thomas Stepan. I'm a product planner and application specialist for our wideband arbitrary waveform generators. I'll show you some measurements today using the wideband arbitrary waveform generator in conjunction with our wideband 90,000x series oscilloscope and our PXA spectrum analyzer. With signal bandwidths getting wider and wider, it is important to have high fidelity signals at high bandwidth being generated. With the M8190 and up to 14-bit vertical resolution, up to 8 giga samples per second sample rate, it can generate signals with up to 80 dB spur-free dynamic range. Now I'll show you some measurements using those products. So in order to generate our waveforms for our arbitrary waveform generator, uh, we're using some MATLAB tools to define those waveforms. MATLAB is ideally suited to generate those waveforms because it's very flexible and very powerful to generate arbitrary waveforms. To start out, uh, we'll do something really simple, something that uh, normally you would not necessarily use an AWG for, uh, but to show you the performance of this arbitrary waveform generator, I'm going to use the utility and just generate a single tone. Um, when, we when I download that signal to the arbitrary waveform generator, uh, we'll use the spectrum analyzer uh, to look at the resulting spectrum. And as you can see, the signal looks extremely clean. And we have a spur-free dynamic range <coughs> in this particular example of uh, over, over 80 dB. Of course, it depends on which range you're looking at. But in general, uh, you can expect this type of performance out of this AWG. As our next experiment, we're going to do a two-tone signal with two tones at uh, approximately one megahertz apart. And again, I'm going to download that and look at the spectrum analyzer. And you can see the two tones. And you can see the third order, in, third order intermodulation distortions. And they're uh, almost 75 dB down. So again, very nice performance here out of um, this product. Let's look at a more complex waveform. In many applications, our customers want to generate really wideband multi-tone waveforms. Let's look at one of those examples. When we generate a multi-tone waveform, you will see some roll off because of analog bandwidth limitations and also because of uh, frequency dependence in the, in the path. And what our utility does, it compensates for those distortions. And as you will see in a second, once we look at the multitone signal, you'll notice after calibration, the multitone signal is really nice and flat. And we put a notch in between. And you can see the markers on the spectrum analyzer. They show a uh, ratio between the tones and the spurs in the notch of about 64 dB. So again, this is for 100 tones. And this is a quite, quite good result if you're performing uh, any noise power ratio measurements. Now, of course, you can increase that number of tones. Uh, let's just do, um, let's just do a 1,000 tones and look at the same signal again. Let me download that. And we'll again look at the spectrum analyzer output. And even with 1,000 tones, uh, you still have about 50 dB range, dynamic range in the, in the notch. For more information, you might want to go to the URL shown below or contact your local Agilent sales representative. Thank you.